Hi, everyone. How's it going, everyone? This is Kanto Kai here with George, the community director for Wild Wings 2. Um, I've been trying out the game today, having a lot of fun with it. Um, I kind of wanted to ask a couple questions about the game, just how's it from week one, how you people get into it, you know, like two area breakdowns a little bit, and just like the game modes and what you expect from the game yeah. overall as a whole. Yeah, all right, I'll run through it all. Of course. Uh, You've experienced with Rivals Speed Thunder, the original, or not much? I haven't just... actually played, it's my first time playing Rivals Okay, Speed, no, so it's totally fine. So... I was just thinking, like, because you asked about like, the differences. So, like, right. a lot of the mechanics, obviously, like, the art style is totally different. 2D, 2D, 3D, pixel art, we've got shields, legends, grabs now. Uh, so, it's more like the traditional fighting game record scissors. So, that's like our biggest stuff. Um, yeah, at like a high level, that's that. And then, all right, route me through. So it was like four questions at once. So what was the next no, one? No, you're good. Yeah, because like I, I also want to ask you about like specific oh, features. Oh, sure. Like I saw like special moves after a ledge grab, special moves, uh, yes. wake up. That were like, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen other fighting games in the world, which is really cool, honestly. Yeah. Like, what was the mindset like, behind the walking out? Like, you guys just kind of like, have to like brainstorm a little bit, just kind of come out naturally? Was it like, as, kinda, like, as far as I know, that was Dan's idea, the studio yeah. lead. And I don't know what like inspired him to do that, and I should ask because right. it's such a great feature. And like I think everyone, as soon as we see the game, we have to try it. We're all like, this just feels so natural. This should be like this should have already been in other games. It's like oh, it's another button. Like, we have this button. So yeah, it's the ledge special pummel, ledge special, we get a special, we get a special. And, yeah, I don't know what his inspiration was, but I will ask him. And I, as far as I know, it's like yeah, we're the first ones to do that. It just feels natural. So like, if people want to like, how how is the best way to learn the game? Uh, and then, kind of like, 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 so the game's coming out like towards the end of this year, okay. and then hopefully like we have a nice clean launch. We get like a lot of new players at the launch. Obviously, it's gonna be a cool thing to try. Right. So I think that'll be the best time to get into it. Okay. Like new, because there'll be a lot of other people that are also learning at the same time. We're gonna be feature light as far as like single player mode and training mode. Like we have a training mode that okay. is like being worked on. Okay. Um, right now, like you can go into frame advance and, and you can like set up CPU like that, but it's like pretty bare bones. Okay. So like we'll have that and we're gonna like uh, we're gonna do like video resources and stuff for like characters and people that do that. But otherwise, I think the best way to get into it is like join Discord server, which is like discord.g slash roa. And like it's a big community. And it's gonna be even bigger like when it comes out. So like just everyone can learn together and it'll like, it'll be fine. You know, like, you know fighting games, like you, it's, you yeah. take the beatings and it's fun. <laughs> yeah, and honestly, I was playing them today. Like, how all characters seem pretty really, like well balanced and awesome. No one seems like incredibly like, bad or probably like, all like, like, pretty like, Nice, well designed together. Like, there's cool things like heavies, like, Craig has mobility moves, which is really cool. Like, yeah, uh, different features. Our heavies are kind of speedy, yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. I mean, you can do more with them, like, not just like one dimensional, but like, there's stuff to do with them. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I like, like, they have like polish, it's very nice and gameplay. Um, is there a character you recommend for beginners to do a Yeah, so it depends, like, what game you come from, maybe, but. We don't have a huge cast, but that's what, like you said, that helps us be able to balance it. Right. We do have plans to like add to the cast, and that's right. gonna be like free updates in the game. It's like the base price, but then we add that to that. Yeah. And then the characters that I would say to start with, Craig, if you're like a very beginner, because yeah. his, his up B like makes a platform wherever you are, yeah. so you can't just fall off and die, which is when you don't know how to recover, that's like the main way you die. Right. And then after that, like I would say, None of, nobody is too gonna like punish you too hard except the air characters tend to be like tougher. I say like Fleet and Raster are harder to get. They have like more advanced like mechanics as like they just work differently. Like Raster just smash attacks like strong attacks only in the air and no other character does that. Fleet's got like interesting like uh, resource management stuff. So like yeah, I think you can't go too wrong with anybody, especially because platform fighters just like a lot of intuitive movement and stuff. But but yeah, I would go with Crag as a beginner. Is that a very good beginner? Yeah, I was gonna say balance. Even playing Crag, like the cosmetics is awesome. Like you also like Thank different you, yeah. outfits, different colors for those outfits. Look very nice. I really like the you know, with like a James Bond or anything. Yeah, like, it's so tuxedo or uh... yeah, that looks awesome. <laughs> but yeah, um, more to it. Um, so. We've been doing them. So we did a Kickstarter at the end of last year, like in the game, 
push like the launch. And so it started in the spring as like this is part of our like plan for the roadmap. It's been a back for me like every month, one week in a month. So the only ones we've scheduled so far are next weekend, or the only ones left. Sorry. Okay. So we've already done seven. And then it's in July, and then we have one more in August. Can't remember yeah, the top of my head, so I won't say it. But I don't know if I'm saying everything like that. I don't want to say the wrong date. <laughs> and then we'll probably post like what's coming up after the summer, like towards the end. Of the summer. So right now we do have more stuff planned, but it's we'll see where we go. Hopefully soon also. Have release date news because yeah. that's coming soon. I was gonna say, I, I yeah. really can't share too many details, but are we gonna yeah. get to do possible more cosmetic Yes, okay. so that is our goal. It's a big way to ask that you're not gonna be like our model basically. Character's gonna be free, um, the updates with the game, and then how we're gonna sustain the game and run the servers and make more characters is through cosmetics. So if you want, you can buy, if you don't, just enjoy. <laughs> that, that's, that's really the cool. I think yeah. that's really gonna help bring a lot of people to like. Because a lot of DLCs will feel a little priced out, but the fact that comes for free is really Yeah. Well, which is the big ones, and we're like turner players too, so like, it's annoying when you're just like, oh, the setup doesn't, you know, unlock this, or you gotta buy this. And also, like, the character passes are getting really expensive. I don't know, it just seems friendlier. So, like, that's, we're not, like, our, you know, it's like, yeah, we're taking, like, a risk of doing this, but I think it's, like, better for a player first. Yeah, I was gonna say, because you said, you can't even talk to me, so you kind of have to Rivals 1 and 2. Yes. Like, the animation, the visuals, all of them. Look, Yeah, to total, Rivals 1 has been out 9, between 9 and 10. But uh, Rivals 2, we started in 2020, really. So, some of the, obviously, like a lot of the design stuff is pulled from Rivals 1, right. so I can count backwards. But yeah, we started in Unreal Engine 4, like around 2020, yeah. and now we're in Unreal Engine 5. Yeah. Going, and we're finally near the finish line, so yeah. We're almost there. Yeah, any, any uh, extra things you want to tell anybody who's just running TV or anything like that? Uh, I would say, yeah, keep an eye out, like follow our social channels, like standard stuff. Uh, Snap news, right? soon about the release date, how you can get it. And if you really want to support us, not to shill, but you can still get involved in the beta you mentioned. So you can late pledge. So you can rivals2.com slash pledge and you can play the betas like, that are coming up still. Otherwise, they're closed betas right now. But they can guarantee next. But yeah, just keep an eye out. So hopefully, when we announce the the actual release, like if we get everyone excited about the launch, and I want to see like everyone online playing. So yeah, do that. So get excited about the launch and come play. Yeah, I'm looking forward to definitely being all the closed betas. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah.